the sun and moon aligning. Anything related to space, so yeah, this is a big deal for me, and I'm really excited. We can see the sun without like squinting our eyes with yeah. it. It's, it's pretty cool. This year's eclipse, a learning experience for Jimmy Newland. I had a hard time sleeping. He's an astronomy professor at Bel Air High School, loving the view of the sun and moon together in Space City. Houston is, when we think about the moon and going to the moon, I like to tell the students how we are where that happened. It was the first word said from the moon. The eclipse captivating its audience, using all kinds of equipment to capture it. But it does keep me watching this get bigger every second, so that's cool. In Houston, the moon covers 85% of the sun for the annular eclipse. It's still not as bright as these kids' futures. I was also part of the quantum engineering research program that Mr. Newland is also a part of, and that also pushed me into astronomy. You could view the eclipse safely through the shadows or with these special shades on, and it's noticeably dimmer here, and future scientists here at the museum are taking in this awe-inspiring moment. It is a big deal because the next time we're going to get this big of a thing, it's going to be in 2046. We might not even be in Texas at that point. And this Texas teacher is encouraged to see the amazing science behind the solar eclipse being shared. Everybody can be out here together. It feels like a very Houston event. We're at the museum. We're like sharing with the public and I have my students actually doing the teaching and it just feels really good. A huge moment for Houston and science. Troy Kless, KHOU 11 News.